some uh, technical difficulties from uh, <laughs> what we know, but now it should be good to go smooth sailing. Blinn College against St. Clair College. Blinn was able to win as a last map on King's Row. Uh, wasn't dominant fashion, it was a pretty close map, but in the end they were able to take it down. And now we're heading over to Flashpoint. It's going to be a very interesting map. I'm expecting very similar team cons, but St. Clair seems like they like playing that May, Noxious on that May. Definitely a character he's very good at. Looks like Blin on the flip side, Ark can be on the Cassidy. What do you think of that one, Matthias? I'm thinking, I don't know how this May is working. You know, sometimes it's a May day. I don't know if today is a May day, but we'll have to see. Flashpoint could definitely try and make it work, especially that alt can pretty much give you a point if you're almost capped it. But I just think Blin has better synergy with their team. Okay, that's a very interesting uh, take there, but let's see how the first fight plays out. A headshot there onto Sunset and almost finds the pick there from Noxious. It's going to be the Saints playing the aggressive game plan here, but I mean, Blin are just playing ring around the rosy <laughs> with them getting out of a danger. No picks coming through for either side here. Sky Sniper on the point alongside Razor, both just kind of poking at one another. No picks coming through just yet. It's going to be a very, very long and stalled out team fight unless somebody can find a random pick from across the map. Both teams just kind of circling around. And now it's going to be Blin who will look to take the aggressive. The May wall does come through. Razor can take another one HP. Halleck uses all of his cooldowns. As soon as his gold comes down, he's going to be very vulnerable. Can St. Clair find the Orissa pick? Doesn't look like they're going to go all in on that one. Still. Sky Sniper gonna be the first to find a pick onto Razor. Blin takes the point and they're finding the kills left and right. The beautiful long stalled out team fight from Blin College. They take the first point. That's what Blin College is amazing at doing. Just playing very slowly, carefully, and then getting the cleanup kills from their DPS players. I mean, now St. Clair is going to have a very tough time breaking through onto this point. They have to break through a Terra Surge and a High Noon. There's the High Noon. Not going to get too much value out of it. But now there's so much pressure here, they're not going to be able to get even close to this point. I mean, Blaine used three. Oh my goodness, Razor. Finds a nice little combo there to pick up one. Goes back in. Is going to fall down, stagger a little bit. Three ultimates used though from Blinn College. Could that be a bit of an overinvestment in a fight where St. Clair should be able to get another touch on this point? I think relatively easily. Hutch takes a headshot from Noxious. There's going to be the speed ring used. I mean, if St. Clair can touch the point, they have the advantage. They have four ultimates ready to go. Noxious almost gets taken down. 92% of the county. They're going to go under. They should be able to get a pretty easy touch here. And they will. The May ult from Noxious is beautiful. Going to find one. Yes, Squeak does fall in the meantime, but St. Clair will get the cap without their tank. They have to use maybe their ultimates to try and win this fight. Let's see if they decide to do so or are they just going to concede. Red X taking so much damage. Going to get taken down to 1 HP, Razor gonna pop the Dragon Blade, the Brig Rally is used as well and they're gonna be able to find the kills here, great job from Sinclair on investing their ultimates when they need to, triple kill there from uh, Razor, they take the point back as now their points start ticking up. Yeah, that might have been the game saving run right there, 99% Blin just now needs to win one team fight, they have the Terror Surge online, nothing else, it's all gonna be about playing around the Orisa here, trying to break on through get as much damage as they can sunset trying to get those headshots and sky sniper on a big flank trying to send the saints into disarray but they're holding strong they're not going to worry all too much about it they're going to send razor on over to deal with that genji and now the push comes through. Red X finds the pick onto Sunset, but low health bars here for St. Clair. They don't get the Juno ultimate off. Hutch, 98% and counting, will have that one ready, but won't need it. St. Clair is uh, gonna be falling down here as Blin easily take this team fight. They will get the capture. They're gonna go up 1 0 on the flashpoint. And the ultimates, all they really needed was that Arisa ultimate to win that one. Yeah, and now St. Clair hard fought on that first flashpoint. Gonna lose it, but we still got two more at the very least to stop Blinn from taking this one 3-0. I don't think they're gonna take this flashpoint 3-0. I think Saints are gonna get at least one in here. Looks to be the case here. I mean, a very close first flashpoint. All came down to Blinn just using their ultimates a tiny, tiny bit better, and then when you're playing at the highest level, kind of ultimates are the main way of winning the game. Getting just picks left and right doesn't happen too, too often, as you can see here. 
both teams playing very passive Sinclair gonna try and push in here they have the Juno ultimate they have everything they could ever need can they find any kills so much damage coming out from Blin both teams gets taken down so so low but no kills come through the rally comes through huge huge freeze into the Orisa ultimate they're gonna find everything Sinclair invest a lot but they get a lot out of Blin as well both supporters used there by Blin to try and sustain in that fight but St. Clair just have too much firepower and a great team fight from them to start off this flashpoint. Yeah, good start from St. Clair but can they carry this one all the way through? Sky Sniper has that Dragon Blade. Not too much else on the board for Blin. Well, St. Clair about to have that rally, about to have a Dragon Blade of their own. If they play this carefully, they should, should be able to take this point. But right now, 30-40% mark is going to be crossed. Haluk feeling the pressure. It's going to cross over, get hit with the spear. There's the double speed boost coming through. Both teams coalescing on each other. Who can break on through? It's going to be Haluk trying to find the right moment. But right now, they're just getting bursted down by the Saints. You can see there's nothing going here for Blin. St. Clair have turned it up a notch on the second flashpoint. They are able to pick up this Genji, which they should look to do. Find the staggers here. Nice shot there from Squeak. Redix, though, does fall down. It does not matter, though. Sinclair find the cleanup. I'm 90% sure Blin cannot get a touch here. Just a very smooth and easy flashpoint there for Sinclair as they tie it up at one apiece. Yeah, it's this Sinclair we are used to seeing on this side. Just utterly dominant. Maybe this is what gets them their momentum swing right here. Put them back into the game. Take this flashpoint. Put them on series point. That's what every Saints fan is hoping for. But if you're Blin, you're feeling like you're gonna take this one they have two ultimates on the board make that almost three but can we even count high noon as an ultimate it rarely gets any value i mean unless it gets i mean if it gets speared it's useless if it doesn't <laughs> get speared i mean it makes a lot of space as the push gonna come through from halibut just instantly deleted this Arisa playing with a bit too much confidence right it finds a second pick saying claire have turned it into overdrive here just playing perfect overwatch they're gonna take the point without you to use the ultimate and there it is the secret pocket pick for Blin College they're gonna pick up the Pharah and try and continue from where they left off on King's Row I mean Pharah worked beautifully there and in the map like Flashpoint team is always stacked up Pharah can find a lot of value to flank here from Sky Sniper and do a good amount of damage. Is the push going to come through? It's going to be squeaked deep in there. There's a High Noon. The spear misses. And it's going to one shot wow. the tank. See, that's the value of High Noon. When it doesn't get speared out. And I mean, it's a do or die play there from Squeak. But they're going to invest the May <laughs> ultimate. I'm not sure about that play from Noxious here. As Saints fall one Sunset. by one. Sunset finds every single shot there on Cassidy. And St. Clair, I mean... Just a poor, poor team from them. They're staggering Noxious no. so much. And this is beautiful. He, the May ultimate isn't really a threat. They shouldn't kill him at all. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure what Noxious is doing. Going into his ice block again. It's just <laughs> stalling more and more time. You see St. Clair try to go help him out. But and against a team like Blin, that's never going to work. It leads to a pick, though. Onto Sunset. St. Clair looking to flip the tides. Razor with the Dragon Blade. Finds a couple. Finds three. The bait from Noxious worked in the <laughs> end. St. Clair do invest four ultimates to take that team fight. Wow. They take the flashpoint in their favor. Now they're going to have the points ticking up again. Hey, you get the team wipe. More can you ask or after investing so many ultimates, you get a lot of value there. Just got to hope you can carry out that value till the end of the game here. Here. Let's see if they're going to be able to do it though. Noxious pushing in on that sideline, trying to make something work here. We can't make a mountain out of Molehill that easily. Right now, the Saints crossing into oh, that 90% line. Haluk finding a big pick over on Noxious, and with that terror surge in your pocket, you're surely going to get this site unless the Saints can burst down Haluk. Yeah, there's just nothing to do here for the Saints. No DPS left alive. It's an easy team fight for Blind College, and the fact they didn't need to use an ultimate is so crucial. Red X, though, finds a nice uh, exit frag there, but it looks like they're going to stagger him as well, and they should. I don't know why they killed him so early on. If they could have stalled him to like 75, 76%, it would have been very hard for St. Clair to even get a touch on this point. Blind, though, don't want to get baited again. They quickly finish off the job onto Red X. As one a big team fight here will decide who takes the 2-1 lead in this flashpoint. It's going to be Sky Sniper who has the barrage alongside the Orisa ultimate. They haven't really comboed it at all this series. Let's see if they combo it here. The Orisa is going to come out from Halo. Can he find any shots? Oh my goodness. Noxious almost finds the 
kill there onto Hutch. St. Clair do get a touch, but Farah has that barrage. He's going to be on the sphere to find the big ult as Redix falls early. That's a terrible start for St. Clair's Blin. Going to be able to win this team fight with relative ease. The opening pick is so nice. They're going to go up 2-1 in the series, that they, and they, they are now going to try to push a four map a point. They're going to try and push for it. I mean, both teams want to get that lead here, especially with their history. Blinn just barely squeaking out wins against St. Clair. St. Clair just barely losing every single time, bringing it all the way. I wouldn't be surprised if this eventually goes to a Game 5, but either way, we know we're going to Game 4 either way. But it is looking absolutely dicey for both teams here. Sky Sniper trying to break on through you have the barrage ready trying to get the right angle blin just has so much so many tools in their pocket here and they're going to use some of them we see bob and the juno ultimate saint Clair. Oh, not doing the worst job at living through this, but that barrage gonna do a lot of damage. Not too much though. They just get one out of Saint somehow s oh, standing on. Oh no, he's trying to stay alive. Use that ultimate for the gold, but just cannot stay alive. Razor gonna use that dragon blade. Can't find a kill with that one. Arissa takes zero damage from this dragon blade. Gonna get taken down to low HP though. Can they find Halic? Yes, they do. Saint Clair flipping the tides here, trying to take this one home. They should be able to do. So after those kills by Redickson, so it's going to be falling down. No supports left here for the side of St. Clair. And that is a disastrous team fight from St. Clair. They use four ultimates just to lose. Blinn College now going to be in a beautiful position to try and close out this map. They're going to try their darndest here. I don't know if St. Clair is going to be able to push them off. I mean, Squeak did a kind of silly maneuver there using the terror search to try and stand for a little bit longer but without point control i mean just kind of we're stalling out the what? clock there sunset, go, sunset going for a crazy play <laughs> it works it works i cannot believe that that was rewarded with a kill that should not happen. <laughs> and now the saints just in complete disarray after a gambit from blinn college practically wins them the game that's gonna be a blinn college going up 2-1 now on series point yeah, great map there from Blinn. I mean, they started off hot. St. Clair uh, responded pretty well and had a bit of momentum going their way, but Blinn College in the end managed to clutch up that one team fight where they didn't use that many ultimates. Saints used four was kind of the map deciding a team fight there. Nice play of the game here from Razor on the Genji. Had some good Dragon Blades, but just was not enough. And now Blinn College, two maps in a row now. They put themselves on serious points and look to move into top four. Yeah, top four is very, very nice. And I think St. Clair feeling a little bit of the pressure now. Okay. You've lost a Blinn College before. This is one you should be looking out for. But still, Blinn College has improved at the same rate as the Saints, maybe even slightly better. Because right now, I wouldn't be surprised if they're 3-1. Last time they lost, it was 3-2. It's up to the Saints to try and meet that milestone. Yeah, they have to do something about this fair. I feel like this fair has found... Like, they switched over to the fair, and instantly the map went over to Bl in, in Blin's favor. Like, I'm not sure, St. Clair. They should have done their research. They should be ready for this to come out, but it looks like Blin have just done a bit more prep, and it seems like they're just a tiny bit more ready in this team, team fight. Yeah, and I'm wondering, what do you pick against that fair? They tried the Cassie, but I don't think that has enough range. Or you can maybe try and meet them in the sky, go with that Echo. Echo could be a good pick you know that ultimate also a big game changer mm -hmm. so maybe we'll see an echo i don't know how echo is doing in the meta currently i don't think it's the most optimal pick but, but at this against point Farah? against the Farah, it's pretty good i don't think fair is the most optimal no. pick either i mean it's definitely a bit of a switch up fair is still relatively good in the meta but I feel like, yeah, I mean, you have to do something if you're on St. Clair. You can't just keep doing the same thing over and over and just falling a tiny bit short. I feel like one tiny switch up could be the difference. Yeah, and we will have to see going into this game four. And now it's a surprise to be sh to be fair because St. Clair won that first game very handedly. It was 2-0, not a lot of progress from Blinn. But ever since King's Row onwards, they've been looking absolutely fantastic, just absolutely outplaying the Saints. Yeah, I mean, this fair has just found the most value. Even though the fair ultimates have been a bit lackluster, 
um, definitely not uh, the re the rest of the Ferris play has been uh, superb and has been throwing the Saints off. But the rest of Blin are also playing very well. Their supports doing a great a great job of just keeping everyone alive. And I feel like they find the first pick a bit too much here. And even when uh, Saint Clair do get picked off first, sometimes they're able to push through and win the team fight. But that's not the ideal way to play. You don't want to be dying first. And Blin has just been seen to finding these initial picks. And that's what it seems to come down to, is those first initial picks. Blin just knows how to get in there and get a kill out of it, even if it's not the most optimal play. If you can just find the right pick at the right time, it just throws the Saints game plan into, into tatters yeah. there. And we saw that at the end of the game. We just saw the Ash run it down at that Genji. We were like, what are they doing? And it somehow got a lot of value there. Saints not able to get their quickest uh, hero onto the point to contest. And it was just solved from there so i think st Clair just needs something to either play in that very very close range or have something to play against that fair they're kind of trying to play the mid range and i don't think it's working out for them yeah i mean arissa is kind of the staple tank here for both sides so i wouldn't i wouldn't expect like a diva or anything no, that no. definitely wouldn't be the best but yeah as you said maybe an echo pick maybe have play like a i feel like genji is a very very good pick right now so you need mm -hmm. to play him but yeah, something Maybe different like, support. I guess uh, you have to play Juno or Juno, Brig. Juno Brig is yeah. kind of... I mean, you could play like a Baptiste comp, but it becomes very, very hard at that point with no, with, without the speed boost. Yeah, without the speed boost, it's just tough, especially when there's so many game modes where you just need to get there first. But with all that being said, I think we're going to throw it over to a very quick break. And we'll be right, we'll be right back with the decisive final game. Potentially.
back everybody to push everybody's favorite game mode especially in Blin and like we said Blin I'm bringing that Farah once again and now this is looking to be it Theo how are you feeling? What do you think St. Clair is going to do to try and deal with this Vera? I mean, they went for the Widowmaker and they have Ana now. That's a very risky play here. I mean, they're playing the Winston, so they did switch some things up. They're not playing the same thing they were last time. And I think change is good, especially when their initial things are not working out. So let's see how this map goes. I mean, it's going to be nearly impossible to get Blin off of the payload. The Sarissa going to be very hard to kill. Razor going to take a lot of damage, but Arissa's going to be looking to push into the back line. Takes too much poke though, forced to back out. They use the ring as well relatively early, so it's a good start to the fight for St. Clair. I mean, Squeak going to get a lot of uh, damage down here, but against the Arissa, the Winston isn't going to be too, too deadly. Up on this high ground, I mean, we could see the entire map sit here for 10 minutes, and Berlin, <laughs> if they play perfectly, and don't die there's not much the saints can do here they're working on their ultimates and they're very very close to those squeakers taking out very low a lot of space now to work with here for blind soaks have to be careful on that brig and is gonna wow. fall down but a nice trade there from a razor takes down regime still the red x almost has that and the ultimate razor will fall down it's a good start to the map for the side of blind they're gonna be close to some key key ultimates as they get the first push yeah, as long as Red X gets those heals on Squeak, he should be able to stand up, but it's just too hard to fight this Orisa in a one-on-one. -on -one. You can try and get the out heal, but both of them have enough tools in their kit oh, to just be able to back out of a losing fight. And now, on both sides, Haluk getting pinched, but able to get out with that oh, defense boost. And now, Noxious finding a P key pick on Hutch. That should be just an easy fight here for the side of Blin. I'm surprised, for the side of St. Clair, I'm surprised Blin are even staying here this long. They should just look to get out without their Juno. I feel like they're just going to stagger one by one. The longest stay in here. Is the Fair Ultimate going to come out onto Squeak? He does have that Primal. There is the stagger I was talking about. Hello going to fall as well. So a bit of a misplay there from Blin. As soon as your Juno falls, you need to get out of danger. You are not winning any team fight. Even with the ultimates they had. Now St. Clair put themselves in a great position. They're going to take the lead here. And they have the ults needed to try and push it even further. Yep, the Saints have the ults they need in their pocket. Noxious switching over to that Widowmaker. Going to try and make something work here. But Blin, they almost have a full suite of ultimates on display here. I look going in with a big spear. Tracer gets out, the bob is popped and slapped, but Squeak going on the back line with the ultimate funds, one, Noxious finds another, the rocket barrage though, gonna try and take out the back line, Sky Sniper not gonna get all too much value. I mean, Noxious is doing God's work on this Widowmaker, even though he did fall down there, you just, if you kill Hutch on that Widowmaker, you instantly win your team the team fight there's nothing blind college can do and now they're gonna make some swaps of their own they're gonna switch over to a widowmaker try and cataract noxious and they're gonna be on that tracer as well i mean saint Clair have played this map beautifully so far they're gonna have that primal uh, that nano boost soon to go on to squeak if Fredix can build that one up it's gonna be their win combo blind with the ultimates they have should be definitely taking this next team fight to take it right here right now they need to swing things back into their wheelhouse if they want to take this one they have a lot oh, of wow. ultimates to use as well a little bit of a switch up off of the pharah going to that oh. tracer mashing st Clair's oh, pace but sunset, sunset triple on the widow oh my goodness sunset why was this guy ever off of Widowmaker? I mean, he's shown time and time again how capable he is on this character. Blin only using the one ultimate there to win that one, which they didn't really need. I mean, when your Widowmaker is finding headshot after headshot after headshot, makes the game a lot easier still. St. Clair are in the lead. They have all the momentum they could ever want. Blin still will have a couple ultimates of their own. See who wins the Widowmaker battle for the rest of this map. I mean, if one Widow can find a pick onto the other, it's going to swing the tides uh, heavily in one's favor. Contest comes through.
from this from Squeak here, I believe. He's gonna be stalling out this point for quite some time. And there's the nano boost. They're looking to go quickly onto this backline of Blind College Sunset. Will be falling down. Another great job from St. Clair. They just play it patiently. They know what kill they need to find. Squeak is an absolutely no threat here. Has so much health to work with. Arisa Ultimate's not around the wall, so it won't do any damage to Red X. And Blind College are over using their ultimates here, but Red X does fall down, so gives the, the Blind a chance to win this team fight. Still, though, St. Clair find all the picks needed only using one ultimate they're gonna be able to win out this team fight from the look of things and they are in a beautiful position now they can push this point so far four ultimates ready i mean they have everything they could ever need to win this map you just have to cross the sunset barrier here on the horizon peering out from behind the corner cannot quite get a good kill uses the x-ray vision and there's squeak awaiting for him on the other side of that wall Ready to unleash the beast, and Blin now just absolutely matching what the Saints are dishing out. They switched over to the Winston. Yeah, it's going to be a mirror comp from Blin, so they're just saying, Hey guys, we think we're just straight up better than you, but Sunset going to be the first to fall. Razor with a pick, and St. Clair, I mean, they have really turned it up a notch when it matters most. They're playing a beautiful Overwatch squeak, though. Bit of a rough jump there. Noxus, though, finds two headshots onto both of the supports of Blin. I mean, St. Clair, are, all the players are performing at peak, peak level squeak with a nice little double jump there. Gets onto Sunset. Should be able to pick up that kill. And this Winston pick has been proven beautiful for the side of St. Clair as they have a huge lead. Should definitely be winning this map. They have an absolutely massive lead here. And I don't know if Blin will be able to stop them at this point. They're closing in on that final push. This might be going all the way to a game five. All the naysayers were saying it's going to be Blin all the way down. But right now, it's looking like St. Clair is going to keep themselves in this thing. Right now, Red X keeping everybody up healthy in Hale, trying to keep that Winston up. That's your key player. Right now, Razor on the back line, just trying to be an annoyance. Yeah, Nox just found the first pick, but now Sunset gets a one in the back of his own. Takes down Soaks, and that's going to slow things down for the side of St. Clair. They're going to look to stall out this point for as long as possible. Squeak, nice bubble, will be able to stay alive as well. So, a good job from the Saints to disengage, even though they're down their brig. It's going to give Blin a lot of a map space and pressure, but they're up almost 100 meters. But that is a nice pick from Sunset. That's going to be Noxious dead, and St. Clair are a bit too deep here. They're going to be falling one by one. They use the nano boost as well, so some crucial, crucial mistakes here from St. Clair. They're going to go very deep into enemy territory, not able to find a single kill. Now they give Blin a chance at this map as they have four ultimates ready. Four ultimates, two and a half minutes remaining. That's not an insignificant amount of time. I mean, if they can get this checkpoint done and quick, I have a feeling they might be able to take this one pretty, pretty far. Now we go to the regime, trying to take them over, lure them in over on the other side as the rest of them try and take this one home. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of space here. Force out of Blin Squeak is in pretty deep. A pulse bomb in there isn't able to find anything. The rally, the nano on the brig. I mean, so many ultimates used in these close corners. Sky Sniper finds the initial pick. Razor falls down as well. Squeak, nice pr juggle here. Does he have enough damage to kill the Yana? I mean, Winston just doesn't do enough damage. Can't find it. It's going to be another clean T fight from the side of Blin. They did invest a lot, but on the flip side, St. Clair used three ultimates of their own. So, I mean, Blin College, that's a huge team fight. When for them and now they put themselves in a position to maybe just maybe find out a win but still it's gonna be St. Clair who are heavily favored. Yeah St. Clair definitely favored bringing this one in but Blinn College getting eerily close to tying this one up I mean sure it looks like a long ways to go on that bar but usually once you get it into this long sight lines it's hard to stop it once the attackers have that little extra spawn they're gonna keep coming faster and faster Razor Trying to play the ranged tracer, not quite getting a lot of value there. Gonna have to reposition Squeak oh, on the job. back line. Going for these supports, Take trying kill. to get something. They get Sunset out of the game, and now it's just a battle of the bruisers here, trying to break on through. You can definitely tell Blin is desperate. Yeah, nothing here for Blin Sinclair played that team fight beautifully. They found a nade onto the Widowmaker and they take the team fight. Now they're gonna look to get this one to mid-map. They wanna reset the spawns back to normal. Don't give Blin that advanced spawn. 
It looks like they'll be able to do so, but Blin, I mean, it's pure desperation now. They need to win every single team fight if they want a chance at winning this map. Yeah, this is looking dire for S Blin here. They want to close this one out. They don't want to bring this all the way to a game five, but St. Clair already pretty much has this in the bag. Blin going to have to make an absolute crazy march all the way to the other end of the map if they can even win a team fight here it's sky sniper looking to make the last little touch to bring it to ot but you're gonna have to touch very very soon there it is there's the touch now it is in overtime it's do or die for blind college the stick goes through squeak popping that ultimate trying to bring as much chaos as he can into the fight gets a double kill that's that it. is going to be it that's going to be saint Clair bringing this all the way to a game five in the playoffs they're battling for top four position here yeah i mean a great map there from saint Clair. they did go a bit off meta and went to their comfort picks on that Winston, on that Widowmaker, and it worked out beautifully for them. It's going to be Sunset who gets to play the game. I remember he had a team fight where headshot after headshot after headshot. Nice shot here onto Razor to start things off. And the rest it just fall like dominoes. Noxious falls, Redix falls. But it just was not enough in the end for the side of Blinn College. Just St. Clair tied the series up at 2-2 two, two apiece. Now, I mean, last time this matchup went to a game five, Blin came out on top 3 2. But I think the fact that St. Clair won that last map is going to give them so much confidence and momentum. I think they put themselves in a great position to close out the series. Yeah, they have a lot of momentum to use here. And I would be very surprised if that does not go their way. I mean, I don't mean to cast a curse this thing here, but if I had to guess, I think St. Clair has a lot riding on this. They have a lot of emotions. They have a lot they want to win. They lost to Blinn the first time they played them this season. I think they want to prove that they can beat them, that they are better than, better than them, and they have learned from their mistakes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we saw that on that fourth map. They finally found something against that Pharah that works. Uh, on the previous two maps they just didn't uh, but i think the winston switch is only possible on really the push map because you can go so many directions the bot is kind of like a not the main priority you want to find a kind of get good position kill the enemies and then the bot just pushes uh, relatively quickly by itself but now we're going to be going to king of the hill map five orissa probably going to be the main real figure here but on map one, we saw Wrecking Ball come out from St. Clair. They look better on the dive. And on the Orissa, they look better as well. So, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see if Blind College whip out that fair again. Or are they just going to try and match the Saints on what they do? I think the Saints are now just going to build comps that can deal with that fair. Like we saw that last game, just bringing Anna and the Winston gave them a little bit more range just to snipe that thing out of the sky. Sure, they were not as good at dealing with the Orissa, but the Orissa is not the thing that's winning them. Yeah. Right making them lose the game sure it's very very tough to play around but it was that pharah that was just giving them something they couldn't deal with yeah and since they would deal with it they forced out the swaps which means blin was not comfortable they did not feel like pharah was gonna win them that map and i think that's exactly what the saints needed i mean two maps in a row blin played the pharah they were confident on it they kept going back to it and saints didn't do anything but now that they were able to finally deal with it i mean this map five i wouldn't be surprised if we see some very interesting picks coming out in this last one yeah this last one should be interesting i wonder if blin has any comfort picks aside from the pharah if we're going to see the pharah again i wonder if the saints are going to stick with what we had for that map or if they're going to bring something new for this next coming map and on paper the saints should win this one as well i mean if we're going back to king of the hill they won that one in a major way it was 2-0 blin couldn't get a foothold in it's all about how blin will adapt here yeah, I mean, Saints, with all the momentum, I would say, are definitely feeling very good about themselves. They want to make this top four, you know. They've had a, a bit of a rough season, three and four, but if they can make it to top four, maybe even make it to the final, try and win the whole thing, that would be a huge, huge, uh, huge placement for them. So uh, they definitely are expecting to win this. Before the series, they were definitely, uh, like, if you spoke to the players, they definitely felt that they should win this series and you know now in the map five uh, hopefully they can back up their word yeah it's all riding on this last final map 
And that's something we got to command here. The collegiate space has gotten so much more competitive just over the past few years. I remember it was not St. Clair was at the top of the game. And it's not that St. Clair has gotten worse. It's that the competition is yeah. just getting it fiercer. They're just rising to the Saints level. And it's all up to the Saints to try and rise to theirs and keep leading at the head of the pack here. Yeah, I mean, it's been a great, a great journey. But as you said, the competition has gotten uh, very, very good here. The two, three, and four teams are just playing such good Overwatch. You just have to think to yourself, how good are the teams that are <laughs> exactly. seven and zero, oh, that are six yeah. and one? I mean, those are the scary big dogs. But even this match, I mean, if you make it in top four, you're playing against one of those mm -hmm. prime elite teams. So I think both teams definitely want to win this. Absolutely, well, they definitely want to win this, but they want to push themselves so they can play against the top of the top and really show why they deserve to be there. Exactly, and just as we're seeing here, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. I mean, if it's three to two, that is looking to be very close. Like, I mean, I was looking at some of the games they've played. They both 3 0 their last opponents, so they're in a league of their own right here, just battling it out all the way to game five. This is a totally different story than what we had last week, and I'm just wondering what is going to come next. You know, if Blinn College is such a tough opponent here, I hope that the Saints can break through into that top four and continue to improve. Yeah, I think both teams were prepared for an absolute fight today. They were both ready for this series to go a long time, for it to be really, really competitive. And I don't think either team thought today's game was going to be a cakewalk in any way, shape, or form. So I think uh, Game 5 treats this series right. I mean, these teams are head at head to head, very, very close. Uh, fight for fight very very close and I think on this map 5 just whoever plays more flawless overwatch try and deny mistakes I mean the big hero plays definitely help but if you just uh, get rid of the, the bad habits you've had pull out something good on this last map and play solid I mean that's going to be the key to victory here yeah, that is going to be a quick break from us. We're going to send it over to one and we'll be right back with finally the final game Hello everyone and welcome. We're already into the thick of it here on the final map. It looks like St. Clair College is starting on the attack here, trying to break through into Blinn College's territory. And it's not going to be King of the Hill like we expected. It's going to be Circuit Royale here in St. Clair. We missed the first team fight, but they somehow cleanly wiped Blinn College. In the first few seconds of the map, I'm not too sure. Might have seen a May teleport over the wall type of play, which uh, is very, very interesting. But unfortunately, they did not catch that one. But now, St. Clair, they're going to be playing May Symmetra, which is a quite not not the ideal DPS line oh. for a long sight line map. It's going to be an easy team fight win here for Blin. I mean, I'm definitely expecting some switches here. From the side of Sinclair, we're gonna see the Widowmaker. Surprise Squeak is staying on the Orissa and not playing the Sigma. I think Blinn College definitely have the compositional advantage on this map. 
for sure. I mean, switching over to the Sigma, that's the comfort pick we were talking about. I think they've realized you don't have to play the exact hard meta. You just have to play what you're the best at here. Of course, the Orisa, always hard to deal with. But against this Sigma, I think they're going to be having a final time. Yeah, I mean, the Sigma is just able to stand there and do whatever he wants. I mean, so much damage and pull comes through from Blin College before St. Clair. I do not like the May Orisa at all here from the side of the Saints. I think it's a very volatile type of team comp. And unless everything goes right, Blin has a lot of... Uh, they can make a few mistakes and still get things going for themselves. They have the Pharah for the poke, they have the Widow for the poke, and they have the Sigma for the poke, and the Zinyara as well. So it's going to be really hard to break through here, but Saints are going to do so. Hutch takes down a Razor. Sunset has had enough, falls off the map, but Halok and Sky Sniper find the trades back, and St. Clair just cannot get anything going. I mean, they had a hot start. They won the first team fight, but now you're going to see some swaps from Matra. Can be the tank of choice for St. Clair. Yeah, Ramatra. An all right pick, but I don't know how that's going to go. I think there are some changes relatively recent in the last few patches that made Ramatra not the strongest hero in the entire game anymore. Yeah. Especially, especially against Sigma. I think, didn't they change how his punches work? They don't go through shields anymore. Is that correct? Oh, I, I'm not too sure. I didn't. I wasn't sure about that one. Hutch gonna kick Redex in the face. Was he in the back line there? I'm not too sure, but that could cost the team this first point. Hutch getting way too wow. aggressive. What a shot from Noxious. Can he find that headshot? He does onto that Widowmaker. Will find the final kill. I mean, Blin are just doing a bit of a weird play here. I'm not too sure if they even get a touch here. Hutch definitely... Found the first pick, but just didn't pop that trank. If he did, would have been good. They're going to use the trank to try and touch here. Will they, will they get on the point? They do. Point three, two. Can anyone else get on top of this one? All the ultimates going to be dropped. 0 0.6 meters from capturing. Can St. Clair sneak in this cap? Doesn't look to be the case just yet. They're still going to be battling this one now. Two picks to one. Force out of Blind but Halleck is going to fall down. Three on three situation now. Can the kills come through here for St. Clair? The Razor doing everything he can. Finding a couple more picks. Getting the recall off. Can they win a Razor? Do Doing so much work on this tracer and it's going to be Blin taken down. Sinclair take the first point. And I think Blin, I mean, I think they definitely threw away a very strong hold they had there. Yeah, they definitely had a chance to end it all right there. And if they did, I think that would have been it. But St. Clair holding on just a little bit longer, having that ultimate charge in their back pocket, having that pulse bomb. They have to use that at the right moment here. If they can get a key pick, they might be able to break on through into the second point. Yeah, second life here for St. Clair. I mean, they had no ultimates. Blin had four ultimates. Hutch went for a flank, died for no reason, didn't use that trank, and now it puts St. Clair in a position to win this map as Blin try to recuperate. They're going full dive here alongside the Sigma. No more Widowmaker. Very surprising considering how well it was working out. And you see Sunset's trying to get on top of Noxious. But Halleck is going to be the first one to fall. And it's just another great team fight from the Saints. Razor is doing God's work on this Tracer. Noxious finds one more headshot onto Hutch there. As Blin looks like they've completely fallen apart after such a strong hold. I think St. Clair now have all the momentum to win this map. I think they do as well. St. Clair just absolutely blowing on through these checkpoints. I mean, Blin struggling to keep up. The Sigma squi sw switch from Squeak just looking absolutely amazing here. Noxious just trying to find these picks. Has the X-ray vision activated. I mean, Blin, nowhere to hide, nowhere to run, nowhere to really plan your next push. Yeah, not much going here for Blin as you give St. Clair second life and they will turn that into many more as Blin has some ultimates ready online, they still have the same Zenyara Juno backline and just hasn't been working for them for the last few minutes here. They're gonna go for a full on dive. Noxious though gets a deflected to the head by Sky Sniper. Nice job there from the Genji. That's gonna slow the Saints down as finally it looks like Blin will be able to take some control of the game. Gonna take control right back into their hand. Squeak moving in on the left side here, moving to the top side. Sunset getting a big pick. Bro both 
ultimates on the side of the Sigmas are activated. It's just who pops it first, really. We're going to have a little bit of a showdown there. It's going to be oh, Squeak popping it. And I don't know how much value he got out of that one, but he's going to move out of that zone. We're going to use the Juno all to try and push on through. Yeah, I mean, it's a good trade for the side of Blin, but Squeak picks up Sunset. Noxious does fall down. There is still the Tranquil ready. Hawk missing completely everything on that Sigma Ultimate. That could prove crucial. Soaks with this rally, trying to keep everyone alive. Playing very aggressively, the will fall down. Dragon Blade is going to be pulled out here by Sky Sniper. Will get one slash, but should get taken down. Squeak with a beautiful rock and a primary fire there. Red X on 1 HP, able to stay alive, which is also crucial. But Squeak falls down. If he was able to stay alive there, Saints could look for the map finish. But a nice pulse bomb from Razor doesn't give Haluk any room to work with. Saints still going to be pushing. Let's see if Squeak decides to switch over to a different tank to get back here quickly. Now he's going to stay on this Sigma. St. Clair trying to find the picks left and right. Razor on 1 HP, able to find the Take, but the rest of the kills come to four blind cars. They're going to be able to hold on. That's only one minute left for the Saints. One minute left for the Saints. Just a few more meters to take it all the way to the end. But can they do it? Can they try and break through? It looks like Blin has woken up on this map. And I'm worried we might be seeing a repeat of what we saw on the last payload map. Where it looks like the Saints did an amazing job on the push. But then Blin just shows them up. Yeah, I mean, on a map like this, it's very hard to find the cap. And they're going to be going over to the Mauga. You can see Blin run back into spawn, switch over to the Junker Queen and the Bastion. No, it's going to be the Ash. They, and they have the Zenyatta as well. So they're going to look to one-shot this Mauga. Let's see if they're able to do so. Discord Orb isn't going to come out just yet, but should come out any second now. And they should be able to blow up this Mauga. They're trying to do so, but the healing from St. Clair is pretty good. Still not enough. A very interesting swap on to the Mauga gives the other team a lot of time to react and counter it. And looks like Boleyn do a great job of doing so. They're going to be able to stop the Saints from capping here now St. Clair just one round away one defense away from taking the sword the series but that statement goes both, goes both ways yeah they have to win I would say they have to win this one right here if this goes to an overtime or Blin could very well win it all the way here you're right I can't this is risky this is do or die for St. Clair it's make or break it's all up to Blin to do just a little bit better and if their track record so far is going to follow, I think they're going to take this one. I mean, if history repeats itself, Blin definitely on the upper side, but I mean, we thought it was going to be a full hold here from the side of Blin, and it kind of fell apart, so I mean, the Saints, four minutes, they can get Blin to fall apart a couple more times with some great play of their own. They're going to put themselves in a prime position to win this one. We're going to see the Orissa come out from St. Clair against the Sigma from Blinn College. What are you thinking of that matchup right now? Um, wow. If they go <laughs> with that Doomfist, if they commit to that, that's a very interesting pick. <laughs> I gotta say that. Squeak hovering the Ramatra as well. He's gonna be I would line. like to see that matchup there, but he's gonna switch back to the Sigma. Doomfist into Ramatra? Yep. I mean, It'd be interesting. It'd be it, a big brawl. It would be interesting. <laughs> it would be definitely interesting to say the least, but... I don't know who's favored now. I think St. Clair might have been a little bit favored in that matchup. But in this type of matchup, we're going to see a Bastion coming out here from Sky Sniper. Not too sure what he's cooking up on now. I'm going to go back over to the Genji. We're going to see the Zenyatta from Hutch yet again. That looks like the comfort pick here on this map for the side of Blink College. St. Clair, they're going to be holding close here. They have the May Wall if ever needed to try and stop this one. But they're just going to look to push straight through the Sigma. That's exactly how you play this Ramatra comp defense. You don't let the Sigma set up. And I mean, they can do this for the entire half. I mean, it's going to be on Blin to pull something off. Maybe like a Junkrat or something to spam some nades in there, get them out of that position. But I mean, Blink College, if they continue to stay on this comp and it's just history is going to repeat itself, St. Clair is going to run them down. Yes, yeah, St. Clair doing a good job, but I think we're seeing some swaps oh, come Pharaoh, through. Oh, that's the one. The Pharah. Oh, oh. The oh, if that was a headshot, that would have been absolutely amazing. But no, Blin going to keep that Pharah up and alive. It's just a very difficult to deal with. It's all up to Noxious to try and be yeah. the one to take that Pharah down. But if he's looking at Pharah, he's not going to be looking at the enemy team. And that's pretty much to, a DPS out of the fight where the Pharah doesn't have to focus the Widow. They can keep going up and down all around taking pot shots of the rest of the team. 
And this is a beautiful defense from St. Clair so far. They've already burnt a minute, and even if they lose a fight here, they have another one later on in the point. Halleck gonna switch over to the Orissa. I mean, Blin are desperate to get something going here. Noxious has just been free firing here. Gets his ult 50% quicker than, than Sunset, and is just waiting for foe to peek the corner at the wrong time. Sky Sniper. Hasn't been able to get in here, gets headshot around the corner, is able to stay alive. Razor doing a good amount of damage there, as now this fair is in a dangerous position, but Razor finds the initial pick, and St. Clair now going to look to just run over Blaine College. They use that Juno ultimate to stay alive. It's a great fight again from St. Clair. They just find one pick, and they force Blaine back into the spawn. Forced back into the spawn. It's all up to the Saints to keep holding this one right where it's at. I mean, they're getting a little bit cornered here. Haluk pushing in on through. It has the Zen Harmony Orb. It's going to be very disastrous. They're all pushing in on through. But, wow, the ultimate's going to be popped. A little bit of a, I think, an emergency play there. I mean, that's a big misplay from Blin. They just don't get any value. Haluk, though, gets a big ultimate off. Does take down Squeak. So this should finally give Blin a bit of space to work with here. St. Clair, though, going to look to try and get on the point. Trying to find some picks. But alongside the Juno ultimate, this Orisa becomes unkillable. But either way, Razor picks up Regime. Sky Sniper does take out Noxious. Reddick should be next to fall. It's finally going to be a team fight win. Coming out for Blin College. But at the cost of what? St. Clair still finding picks on the flip side. Razor can he get on this point still out a bit longer? No. Only a minute left for Blint to close this one out. St. Clair are one fight away from taking the map. <coughs> one fight away. One minute remains. If they can stop it right here, right now, they'll be in a very good spot. They have that Ramatra ult just about to be finally charged. They can play it right. They can very well deny this point. But it's all about the support here. They need to try and keep this Ramatra up for as long as they can. You don't want to pop this ult at the wrong time. This is where it's going to be decided right here, right now. It's up to Squeak in the supports. Yeah, let's see how they decide to play this one. Sunset uses that walls. Noxious uses it as well. Gets taken down very low. Is able to stay alive. Farah has the barrage ready whenever she wants to go in its last fight territory. 30 seconds and taking. You see both sides taking this one very slow. There's going to be a Widowmaker up in the air. Looking for that shot. Reddix though is going to be the first one to fall. And that's going to be an easy fight to win for Blin here. You have to think so. There's going to be a couple more kills coming through. Noxious did find his counterpart. But just not enough done there. As soon as Reddix falls. Team fight's over. We are getting some deja vu. Blin College are. trying to run back the whole map after being spawn camped for nearly two minutes. Yeah, this is not looking good for St. Clair College. I mean, Squeak, he used the ultimate and got zero value. The Terra Surge was able to just waltz in on the point, ignore it completely, and take oh. him down. And Haluk getting that pick on Noxious. They're looking to take the second point in record time. I mean, the second point has proven to be really hard to hold from the look of things as it's so hard to walk through the Zora, especially against the Fair Orissa when you're playing this Ramatra May. Now, I think, is the time to flip the switch. They need to use the speed ring and just run onto an opponent. Widowmaker, no grapple. Is that going to be the target they go for? It's going to be just some poke coming through from Squeak here. But is, he is this cord up in that corner, going to go away now. Healing up, Reddick's going to use that ultimate. The Transcendence comes out as well, but I think this one favors the Saints. The May ultimate is going to be nice. Is Halleck going to get frozen up? Doesn't look like that's going to be the case here. But guessing that's a low HP. Regime has that ultimate, which is going to be swinging the fight in the side of a Blin favor, but they take down Halleck. That's a great trade there. Squeak is on low HP, is able to stay alive. It's going to be St. Clair holding this one down. As it's going to be a great team fight from them. Blin now, kind of in desperation mode, going to try and reset here can they take down reddix in the meantime yes they will but that pick does not matter when the rest of the team is dead yeah it really does not matter with no one there to exploit it now one minute on the clock once again <laughs> it's gonna be blin making that mad dash can they save it here i mean you have the rocket barrage you're about to have terror surge once you get over to this point i think they just might be able to do it yeah it's do or die here for blin they use their ultimates this fight and don't win the team fight. The map is over, but Sunset finds the initial pick. That's a huge anti-nade into the Orisa ultimate. I mean, this is complete destruction from Blind College. 
the honor swap was unexpected from St. Clair. They didn't see that one coming. That nade caught everyone. Haluk just ran in there. Uh, we were expecting a barrage, but didn't even need to get used there. Now it's do or die. We're gonna we're two minutes away from seeing who advances to the semifinals. Uh, the Saints gonna be able to hold on, or are Blin gonna be able to run through them? It's absolutely crazy. There's the rocket barrage. Rex, it's the trade there. Soaks oh, one for one. No nade. Now no nade. It's gonna be a little bit crazy oh, here. Lived. Can't quite get Haluk though. And now there's a minute 30 left on the clock. Blinn College doesn't even have to take it all the way. Red X finding a kill. It's absolute pandemonium here. Not too sure what Haluk was thinking there. He has two healers who heal a lot of HP. Just need to sit for a couple of seconds and get healed up. Got a bit too overconfident. That's going to be a lot of time gone as Razor's going to go for the 1-on-1 against the Pharah. Some shaky shots here, but he should be able to pick this kill up. Great job there from the side of a Razor. Is able to pick up Regime as well. Haluk does pick up Soaks in the meantime, but still, it's a very, very favored for St. Clair. We're down to a minute left between I've, one of these teams going over to top four. Yeah, this is it. This is the top four decider. If St. Clair can hold strong on this defense, They'll make make it there. They have the May ult. They have the Ramatra ult. If they play things right, they should be able to do it. There's 40 seconds left on the clock. If they can deny the overtime, I think they will be able to put this one in the bag. But right now, they have to worry about that Juno ult. They have to worry about the Nano. And they're going to have to worry about the Terra Surge after everything else. Now, Haluk just bursting in on three. You can smell Nothing. the desperation here. Not going to get any value, though. Getting bursted down. There's the Juno ultimate. Razor popping the Blizzard. Finding a one on Hutch. Can he find another? No, Regina. Team gonna find one, one for one. The teams are just trading back and forth. The Ramacho Ultimate's gonna get used. How look though finds one. Soaks finds a trade though. Sunset falls finds one as well. Squeaks able to stay alive in that ultimate, and this might be all she wrote for St. Clair. It's only Hutch left alive on the Zenyaro. He's gonna look to switch over probably to the Lucio and try to touch, but I don't think there's any way this Lucio can get anywhere near this point. Can he do it? Yes, he does. It's gonna give one final chance here for his side of Blink Cars. They have a Sombra in there, Doomfist, but the team comp here from the Saints very solid on the point. Soaks does fall down but squeak is gonna be a menace if he can get those punches up and going again noxious finds a kill with the high noon no dps left the tank gets taken down just the supports left here for blend college and it's gonna be st clair saints getting the hold on the third point and they take the wow. series three to two after a very, fought, very well fought battle well fought indeed i mean that was just an absolute bruiser fight between them soaks leading the charge absolute insane that was just an insane a team a fight i mean such a close series could have gone either way five maps all the way and st Clair do come out on top they're gonna be feeling very very good about themselves after that one i mean just a beautiful series from two teams and thankfully our saints came out on top yeah they came out on top they played very well they played amazingly and they're going to be making it all the way to the top four. And I think that's all we have for today for in now. terms of Overwatch. But we kind of have a nice varsity playoff series today. So we're going to be having Aurora Game Changers series, Game Changers Valorant as our next game over at 5 o'clock. So tune in then. And later in the day, I believe around 8.30 p.m., we have Rocket League. So don't miss any of those games. We're going to be going on a very an hour or so break, and we'll be right back with more Saints action.